Hi everyone! In this video today I'd like to use uh, Russian Pasyans cards. These are very tiny little Pasyans cards, yeah? Uh, which with symbols. And they work like a puzzle. There are 20 cards in each deck. And you can see what a small little deck it is. So, uh, I would like to try and do a reading with these cards. Uh, I would like to ask about you and your love interest. What do you need to know about your relationship? What's happening? What's the problem? How will it end? Okay, so um, if you'd like to participate, please think of a person and choose one of these uh, four decks. This is deck number one, is the Pasyans of Kiev. This is the Middle Age Pasyans. This is the Egyptian and this is the Magical. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen? So let's have a look then at the deck number one. Okay. So these are cards. And please think of your wish, think of that person you would like to ask about. Let's see what symbols we get and what these symbols could mean. Okay, so we have our picture number one. We're looking for the match. Cannot see any match right now. Okay, we have the chain, the necklace here. That means some sort of gift in this relationship. Maybe it's a pleasant beginning of this relationship. Maybe it started very nice. Maybe this person is like a gift to you. We see a devil being cut in half. That means you've avoided some danger <clears throat> or some sort of crazy step in this relationship. Then we're looking. Okay. Not getting anything. Our trumpet is also cut off here. By that means uh, some news will be missed. Maybe some official thing. Uh, because of something you will miss a communication with this person. Here we have a wall, the, the ball, and we have a sunflower. Okay, and we have uh, basically wealth happening here because of sunflower, and uh, we have a wall that talk about roads. 
So who knows, maybe you are separated by some sort of distance or maybe it's a long distance relationship. Then we have uh, this thing going on here, which talk, can talk about some sort of doubts regarding this relationship. And there's also a rose, which means love. Despite of everything, we have love there. And these cards, they show some sort of official situation. We have a flag, we have an anchor, it's stability. We have uh, a little bit of bad luck. Like maybe things are not going the way you want them to go because we have a broken pot. And we have a moon. And moon will also represent... Um, We'll talk about basically, um, you know, fluctuating news. Uh, it can be, again, doubts and stability and stability, both things. You know, so I'm thinking that this relationship is not bad. We have, uh, like, a good surprise in the beginning, like, this person came out of nowhere into your life, and uh, you were feeling very happy when they came. It was like... A, someone sent a gift to you, this person, and it was a nice beginning, yeah, and uh, we have wealth, well, wealth can represent not only financial wealth, but also happiness and abundance uh, of feelings and of good f things, you know, um, but then, yeah, wool usually represents paths in Russian folklore, I guess because you get these fairy tales, folk tales where, you know, witches have the ball and the ball kind of go, goes and it shows you the path where to go while the it rolls down the path, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, and it's very interesting. And we see, because maybe because of distance, there is some sort of doubting going on and the relationship doesn't seem stable yeah actually doesn't seem stable i don't know we have a love card now maybe there is love as a problem coming in the way maybe you love somebody else or he also has somebody else so there is like or maybe there is love where it shouldn't be you know that sort of situation but we have uh, the only problem actually is it's stable Maybe the feelings are stable, but the situations are not stable. And it seems like some someone is always disturbing uh, this relationship. Like there is some bad luck going on that doesn't let you be together. You know, like small things that just don't depend on you. That sort of thing. And yeah, we have like, you don't know what will happen in the future. This unknownness is going on, you know. So, yeah, this was our reading with uh, Patience. This is not the full, I would say, it doesn't show us what to do, it doesn't advise us, but it is just uh, reflects the situation that's happening, I guess. And it shows that in the future also it will be like it is now. Like sometimes that person is there, sometimes that person is not there. So it's like a uh, changing situation, like with a moon card. Uh, maybe dreams, maybe emotions missing, and but there's no guarantees, you know. Okay. Oh, and I'm so sorry. We have a cat as well. You know, it happens with these patients that you tend to see the picture later. You know, cat means flirt. It means basically that there is flirting going on. There is lots of romance going on, basically. And we also have a piggy. Well, the piggy in Russian folklore is not a very good sign. It doesn't always mean, um, you know, wealth and money. It means sometimes something unpleasant, you know, happening. So now, who knows? So maybe because of that unpleasant thing, things will go a little bit um, unstable. Okay, so this was our reading number one with the patience of Kiev. Now let's move on and have a look at patience number two is the middle age patience.
This is the patience of the Middle Ages. We have this type of card on cards. The question is what's happening in your relationship? What do we need to know? What's the problem? How will it end? So, current, the, let's have a look at this current situation, so to say, the beginning of how it all started. We have a crown separated, it can talk about uh, business situation, it can talk that success was... Uh, that the beginning was already not successful, something didn't go right in the beginning. Let's look here, we don't get... Okay, we have arrows, so... Arrows will talk about uh, you trying or to get that person, you aiming at that person, or that person aiming at you, so it's like a very uh, ambitious type of uh, procedure here. Yeah, we don't have many. Okay, we have a ring that can talk of uh, basically you getting into that relationship one day. Or, yeah, we have a ring. We have a fire also. That basically talk about family happiness, happiness at home. So maybe you're married or you will marry. <clears throat> okay. Here also, we didn't get any cards. So we had very few cards. And actually, the fewer the other, the better the result is, the more accurate the reading is considered to be. Of course, it might be that I'm missing some of them. Uh, we have a cross uh, being cut off here. So, I'm getting this feeling that um, there has been, um, how to put it, courtship going on, chasing, if you will, uh, that one of you has uh, tried to fight, you know, to be with the other person. So there is this uh, stubbornness and trying to get the other person, you know, like no matter what. And, uh, and eventually I think either you already are together because you're enjoying that uh, family, you know, um, how to say bonfire or fire, or it can talk that you will... Uh, enjoy that basically maybe you live together live in relationship or maybe you will marry each other so yeah we get that sort of situation here this is our reading number two and let's move on to our reading number three It's our Egyptian deck. It's called The Secrets of the Pyramids. And it's also very small. Okay, so let's look about uh, what does this oracle 
will say about your relationship with your loved one. Let's see what are the cards. <clears throat> Okay, first, we're not getting anything here. We have a um, scaraby being cut off by the other cards. Scaraby means getting something, someone that you really, really want after a long time. So maybe you've really been eyeing this person for a while, and but it's not happening because it's not coming together, this Caribbean. No, we're not getting it. Okay, we have the pyramids as well. So in this passions, basically pyramids mean victory over yourself. Um, and that pyramid is actually cutting off the scaraby picture into half. So maybe you try to control yourself in some way and that slow down your, you being with that person. Oops, we get a spider as well. Such a big scary spider. And the spider is uh, always... Well, in this Passions, the spider actually means loneliness. So, perhaps uh, it talks about the fact that you're not together with this person. Yeah. Do we get any other cards? So maybe it's uh, our Nefertiti. I don't think so. So we're getting here, basically, it's not Nefertiti, it's not her legs, <laughs> but we're getting a situation here similar to a marriage, like uh, we have a marriage stability, we have this uh, bull, you know, and these cards, they talk about either there's a marriage situation that other person is maybe married because we have self-control, work with yourself, uh, we have uh, basically loneliness so because of that i'm getting some sort of very strong situation that is not letting you perhaps be together that it's not easy to overcome you know that sort of thing or who knows maybe in the future the marriage is waiting for you with this person here okay so this was our reading number Three. Now let's move on to our reading number four. And this is our magical patience. Let's have a look what message does it hide. Okay, so we're looking for the matching picture right now. Okay, I'm not finding any matching picture. 
pictures here. Okay, I have money. Wealth card. We have the black uh, crow. Okay, and this is our patience. I'm not seeing many matching pictures. I'm just seeing the money card and I'm seeing the black row okay so yeah so from these pictures we see uh well financial situation though it can be that is work situation it can be that it's about money that uh, you know we have bad luck you know the black crow is kind of bad luck some sort of uh, in, in incidents that happened that didn't allow you to be together that sort of thing and in the end we also have the last card that I read which has a frog it has a spider it has a star it has a ribbon and it talks about uh, you know some sort of success again career success and riches and wealth and things like that in the future but also some cards of unpleasantness and surprises and a little bit of dreaming so for me it feels like um, this relationship is not very invested maybe not very focused or maybe it's a work relationship you know where um, there is nothing you know like happening not nothing important or nothing you know not yet so yeah, we have this kind of situation with the patience. This was again experimental reading. Never did that before um, for YouTube, and it's more like a time pass. And you know, sometimes we have this message that is very simplistic, but we have to learn how to find meaning in it, how to read between the lines, and how to basically get the message that we need to get. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, please let me know if you want more of these or you prefer the simple, normal tarot cards. So thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, you have a great day and a great night. Bye-bye.